Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. And today we're trying the Buckingham Palace 2022. It actually was introduced in 2022. It doesn't say anything 2022. Uh, but uh, I think the British already had it two years before that. And it was kind of a, a big thing. And when you think about it, it's not just uh, the uh, a marketing gag. Oh, yeah, British gin, Buckingham Palace. Yeah, we just want to ride the train of, you know, the royals in, Amer in England. Uh, but it's actually from people uh, that work at the Buckingham Palace. And so they actually do have, uh, I think it's 16 acres uh, of the yeah, Buckingham Palace Gardens. And the botanicals mostly come from the bo uh, botanical gardens of the Buckingham Palace. And yeah, it uh, has 12 botanicals in there. Very nice. And uh, yeah, the palace is really big gardens and uh, 30 different birds in there and 250 different flowers and probably a few of the, these flowers in there as well and you do have uh, them on the label as well so here the I don't know rosebud uh, I don't know Camilla orange uh, something uh, yeah. Uh, yeah blueberries I don't know <laughs> but uh, yes there, there are tons of different um, botanicals in there uh, I do know a bit about the, the botanical skills uh, there. I have to, to read that out. Lemon, verbena, hawthorn, mulberry leaves, bay leaf, uh, bitter, sweet orange peel, uh, camilla flowers, uh, coriander, and juniper. Nice. Nice. So there's... It's quite a big mixture of botanicals, and that's, that's what make a, makes a, a good gin that you have... A lot of different botanicals um, even though when I say that some people might react differently to that because uh, yeah people like uh, some people like the, the the old style gin and the classical gin a classical gin didn't have that many botanicals in there that is just a a, a modern thing I think it was in the 70s 80s 90s when this new western dry gin uh, emerged and all the pink gins and all the flavored gins and all that kind of stuff that gin became really a thing with botanicals and not just juniper <laughs> before that it was just juniper and maybe some lemons or some coriander in there so let's have a look Ooh, yeah you do feel the juniper the juniper is it's it's definitely a classical dry gin the first thing that comes to your nose is the juniper with that tingly feeling that special juniper smell so yeah it's a it's a gin it's definitely a gin and it's not a no, new western from from the smell from the smell maybe maybe i'll say something about the taste it has a bit of a citrus flavor in there a little bit of herbs flavor in there mm. Gives you a nice, oh, nice touch of of everything in there. It smells like a like a good garden. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Mm. oh. Quite strong. Hmm. It has a um, forty-two percent ABV. Mm, you have a good amount of juniper in there. A little bit of an alcoholic touch to it. Mm, and you feel there are different, a lot of different kind of, of uh, botanicals in there. But don't worry, it's definitely, it feels like a dry gin. Very dry in your mouth. It's, it's not sweet at all. Mm, yeah, it's nice. So, um, might be good in a, in a gin tonic. It's, but it's not as strong as I would use a strong tonic. I would rather use a, a light tonic. Maybe some people who, who are into herbs, which, which I'm quite, quite fond of. I would go for maybe a herb tonic, kind of. I'm going for a light citrusy tonic here in my gin tonic. And I always go for 
low tonic. <laughs> A lot of gin. Because <laughs> mm. I, I like gin, and tonic is, yeah, it's nice, it's refreshing, but I like my gin. Mm. Ooh. Okay. These strong and bittersweet notes that come really through in the gin tonic. Mm. You do have the the herbs, but later, the first one, it overwhelms you with still the uh, the juniper, but with that um, citrus peel, um, oily, bitter sweetness that, you know, when, when you have the, what is it, citrus oil, that is a lot, a lot of bitterness in there. And uh, that comes through in here, a lot of stuff. Mm. That is strange. Mm. In the pure taste, uh, in the pure taste, I really had some uh, classical one with herbs and stuff. This year, um, in the gin tonic, it kind of changes. It, it really changes to a, a strong and heavy tonic. So this is a, a not tonic, gin. So this is a quite heavy gin tonic. I would. I would have said maybe it turns into one of these summer tonics, but this is a, mm, a robust tonic, I would say. Mm. Maybe you could have done with a little bit of a spicy tonic. Mm. I'll probably do that in, in the German take then. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. So yeah, if you're a fan of the Royals and if you like Buckingham Palace and you like the gin uh, in a... Mm, I would say herbs, classical, strong kind of way, then yeah, have a look at whiskey.com if you come from the Netherlands and find the Buckingham Palace dry gin in our whiskey.com shop. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.